Excited to have joining us now, Carolina's co-defensive coordinator, joining the Tar Heels from Army, West Point. That is Jay Bateman, nice enough to give us a few minutes. And Coach, I know this has been a whirlwind couple of days for you. You had the Army-Navy game and uh, now making your way to Chapel Hill. Just uh, take us through the last few days for you and kind of what your life has been like. Well, I was fortunate enough to coach in the Army-Navy game uh, December 9th, I think. Won that game. That was a big win for us. Sure. And then uh, I got in the car and drove to North Carolina. <laughs> so I started recruiting. And uh, you know, I've had, you had a chance to go out with Coach Brown a little bit recruiting. I had a chance to go with Coach Scott and some of the other coaches. And uh, it's been great. Now, you do have some history in this state. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with the state of North Carolina. Well, I've recruited North Carolina for about 15 years. Um, but I also coached at Elon University down the road for five years mm -hmm. uh, in the 2006 to 2010. What is uh, your philosophy defensively if Carolina fans are trying to get just a snapshot of, of what they can see uh, in the upcoming years? Well, we're going to be re really multiple. I think every time you get hired as a defense coordinator, you have to say we're going to be multiple and we're going to be aggressive. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and throw Check that out the boxes. there. I'll go ahead and throw that out there. But, yeah, I think we're going you know, to try to solve our problems with aggression and make people defend us as much as we try to defend them and, uh, and try to have a lot of fun. I think, you know, it's still a game. I think that'll be, that'll be important for our kids. Carolina defensively has uh, losing some guys off last year's team. Kind of how do you approach getting to know the players who are already here and how they may fit in and, and what you want to yeah, do? Yeah, I mean, this, this is my fourth time coming into a program that, that maybe hadn't had as much success as they should have and, and getting it back to where it needs to be. And, and I, I, I try to every single time, you know, I want to develop my relationship with the kids independent of what happened before. I want every kid to have a, a fresh start if they need one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I think I've, I've already started with some of the kids that were around. I got a chance to meet about a dozen of them. I'm looking forward to getting them back in January and getting to work. I would think that West Point is a unique place to coach. How does coaching there help you become a better coach wherever you may be? Well, you, I mean, first of all, you're honored to have the chance to coach at, at, at the number one public school in the world. So, um, and you have really, really special kids. But, you know, I, mean, I, I get tired of people telling us that we didn't have great players there. We had great players, but they, they weren't as talented maybe. They weren't as long or as fast or as big. Um, so you had to coach with a little bit more detail, and they had, you had fundamentally had to be really, really good, uh, and they had to play really, really hard. And I think that carries over to any level of football. So I, I anticipate it will carry over to here. Phil Longo is Carolina's offensive coordinator now. Of course, he has that air raid scheme where uh, sometimes Carolina isn't holding the ball as much. Uh, they're scoring quickly, or if things don't go well, have to give it back to the other team. How do you try to find that balance as a defensive coordinator when you have an offense that, that moves pretty quickly? Well, anytime we lose, it's because we didn't score enough points. <laughs> so Just get that on record. So, so, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really – you know, I, I was fortunate to coach an Army where we, we, we controlled the clock a lot, and, and that was great. But, you know, there's also games where we had to play a lot of possessions. And, and I think it, you just have to go into every game knowing what, whatever the situation is, you got to stop them. And, and that, that's, not, that's the goal. And I think if they're scoring points, like I know Coach Longo's going to score a bunch of points, then we'll be just fine. Coach, uh, what are the next couple steps for you now that you, you've gotten through this December signing period? So what's next for you? Well, I think there's still a couple kids out there that we'd like to, to get to be Tar Heels. So, you know, just sort of try to wrap it up with those kids. And then I think we're going to start on the next year's class. I mean, I think there's some really, really talented kids in this state, like always. And I will try to develop a relationship with them so that, you know, 364 days from now they're ready to be a Tar Heel. That's Jay Bateman, Carolina's defensive coordinator. Coach, thank you so much for being here. Look forward to uh, working with you over the next several months, and uh, really pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Appreciate it.